What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So Young Miami and JT have been fighting on Twitter for a minute now. Rumors have been going around for a few months that JT and Carisha are not friends anymore, and I guess we can stop speculating because it's official. These two girls are not friends. At first, you could say that it all started with Young Miami dating Diddy and JT not being too comfortable with it, but I think what really nailed the coffin was Saucy Santana tried to take up for Young Miami from a stand. So this stand said to Young Miami, you so late, young Miami had question marks. Then they said, the clueless role is getting tired, very so saucy Santana chimed in and said, stay in your Tory Lanez B. And the stand page said, oh baby, them RCA checks slowed down and you have enough time to come engage in something on Twitter because when them allegations was flying around about Lil Miss Pissy, we ain't seen nothing. So Santana said, my agents call me every other day with the inquiry or check for the doll. How much does Stan Twitter pay? There will be a TV show to address things you are so heavily invested and interested in. Tune in. Now this is where things went left. I don't know if JT just didn't really know what was going on, but she inserted herself, she said. And I better not be mentioned since I'm not in an episode nothing should be addressed without me. Who are you? You don't give yourself a position of power. You're not my power of attorney. Sit your A down now. Like I said, I don't know what JT thought that Saucy Santana was talking about, but he was not talking about her. He was talking about the allegations regarding Young Miami and Diddy. So he says, sheesh, I'm, I thought he was talking about puffing those allegations just like the rest of the world. What the F are you talking about? So she said, reread what I just said in case you didn't comprehend the first time. He said, JT, you retweeted a Nicki Minaj stan asking why we didn't speak on Miss Pissy allegations, which refers to Diddy, not you. Everybody looking for answers and responses to that situation, which will be televised. You unblocked me to insert yourself. I'm still confused. And this is where young Miami inserted herself into the conversation. She said for you to come here and try to play victim is crazy. Jatavia, you've been sneak dissing me for the last couple of days. I haven't said ish back to you. You made two whole songs dissing me and I still wrapped your ish with my chest and show love. So what's the real problem here? So JT said, girl, the internet told you that which songs was about you? The one saying it's City Girls ish, even when it ain't City Girls ish. That was released under City Girls, or the one that says writing solo, but I'm still in a group. Get your phone back from whoever this is, baby. Don't play with me. So, Young Miami responded to what JT said when she said, Which songs was about you? Young Miami said, No bars and sideways. Now she also said, You let the internet put in your head that I'm jealous of you when you know I'm the one that always pushed us. You have resentment towards me, and that's okay. Then she said, a bee trying to kick me while I'm down and playing to these narratives is dangerous when I've been nothing but a friend to you. Now, JT never responded to anything Young Miami said after that, but I think this has been brewing for a while. Like I said, the city girls started having issues when Young Miami started dating Diddy. She wasn't as interested in making music with JT anymore. She was just in Diddy's world getting that money and JT was all by herself trying to push the City Girls brand. Anyway, guys, do let me know your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.